name is Abdul Rahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we talked about pointer operators. Basically, we found out that there are two types of pointer operators. The typed uh, operator, which actually uh, it is it deals with a specific uh, type of data type, and this it is an operators which are either uh, integer or character. And then we had untyped operators. These are operators that are pointing to any type of data. An example were the void operators. So today we are going to start up another topic and ask ourselves what are pointer arithmetics. And in that, in that particular journey, we are going to define what are pointer or, uh, arithmetics and uh, how are they affected by different type of machine and basically we are going to finish up this particular session with how can we implement uh, a pointer arithmetics so let us start and try to define what actually they are our pointer arithmetics so basically pointer arithmetics uh, if you want to understand them uh, we have to understand uh, what are pointers themselves so in our previous lesson we have actually defined that actually uh, a pointer actually uh, it is a variable which actually points uh, to a memory address so a pointer actually points uh, into a memory address however this particular uh, memory address actually they hold some uh, values and this particular uh, values actually they range uh, uh, from zero uh, uh, to a maximum of value and also we have seen that uh, uh, the addresses if they have values from zero to 100 then this particular value actually can be manipulated can be manipulated just like any other uh, variable but however uh, but however the result actually will depend the results will depend on a type of a machine which we are working so it will depend on a type of a machine which is a we are working so that one actually takes us to the type of machines and basically the types of machines which we have today there are basically two types of them there is what you call a 16 bit machine so here we are going to have uh, a 16-bit machine and also we have a 32-bit uh, machine now according to pointers a 16-bit machine we are going to uh, understand that all the pointers they have what you call two bytes size so the size of all the pointers in a 16 uh, bit machine they are actually two byte however uh, when they are incremented when actually they are incremented will uh, revert back so when they are actually incremented they will revert back to the primitive data type And actually, in a 16-bit machine, a primitive data type, uh, let's take, for example, uh, uh, of int will hold actually two uh, bytes. If we are talking about char, will hold one byte. If you are talking about float, it will hold four. And if you are talking about double, it will hold eight. So, for example, if we are saying double x and then we increment and say i plus plus. So, the value of i uh, according uh, uh, the value of i according to 16-bit machine actually i will have two bytes. However, it will revert back 
to uh, uh, to the primitive data type. So here actually the value of a double we have seen actually it is 8 so it will go back to 8. So what are the 16-bit machine? So the 16-bit machine actually the pointer size they are different from different data types. So here they are different as opposed to 32-bit where all the sizes so here the sizes are different which were actually two bytes but however uh, they uh, they actually hold uh, what you call uh, four bytes so for example an int instead of two will have actually four a char instead of four I mean instead of one will have two and uh, Adapt a float instead of four, it will have eight, and basically a double will have 16. So, basically, that is a 16 bit machine. So, with that particular note, now we are taking out into implementation. So, in our implementation, basically, we are going to assign three variables, some values and have also so let's say for example we'll have int x will give maybe a value of 10 y a value of 20 and we'll have z maybe a value of 0 and then we are going to have int uh, our pointers maybe pointer 1 our pointer 2 and our pointer 3 and then we'll see how the arithmetics can work onto that. So let's go uh, to dev C++ and try to implement the same in order to bring up the uh, pointer arithmetic. So here we'll have our int x. As previously say, we'll have up a value of 10. And then we'll have our x and then we'll have up a, our y. Give the value of 20. And then finally, we'll have a power our z and give a part a value of 0. So now, now here we are initializing our pointers. So we'll have pointer p1, we'll have our another pointer p2, and finally, we'll have our last pointer p3. So those are the three pointers. So let's try it now to assign. So we are taking up P1, our pointer P1, and we are assigning it the address of X. So that is uh, the of X. And we are taking our P2, and we are assigning it the value of Y. I mean the address of y. Onto that, now we want to print. So we are saying our print f there. And here we are saying the address of p1. The address of p1 and addresses their percentage u. The address of P1 and P2 are the address of P1 and P2 And then here, basically, what we have, we are putting up our P1 and our P2. Why we are putting up our P1 on our P2? Because P1 has been assigned the address of X and P, uh, P2, this is P2, actually has been assigned the address of Y. So basically, after that, now we are bringing up our arithmetics. 
so we are assigning the sum of our pointer p1 and p2 to z so here basically we are we are doing up our, our pointer arithmetics by assigning the value of p1 and p2 to z and remember that uh, p1 and p2 actually they point to address of x and y and the value of x and y it is 10 and 20 so if you add the two of them z value should be actually 30 so after doing that let's actually print now and uh, see if that is what uh, we are going to get so we are saying print f and onto that particular print f we are saying the sum of our pointer which is p1 and here we'll have our percentage d and we put up the addition sign and add our p2 and uh, basically we have our percentage d should be equal to actually z so we put up uh, actually our z and then we put up our percentage d so here basically we are supposed uh, uh, to get up uh, uh, the sum of uh, 10 plus 20 should give us 30 so according to that particular one so basically now we are putting up uh, our variables that is actually p1 and then another variable uh, that is p2 and finally our variable z so this will be the demonstration so let's actually uh, run this particular program and see what is uh, uh, onto that so here we are getting up uh, yes we are supposed to put up a comma there so let's run again see what happens to this particular program so we run and compile actually it runs and onto that particular one we are seeing here actually the output it is the address of p1 was uh, uh, 6487 and the address of uh, 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 p2 actually we have seen that the integer actually the addresses have moved from uh, 0 4 I mean uh, 0 4 to 0 0 so actually integer here we have seen actually it takes up uh, four bits so this particular computer actually it is a 32-bit computer and you have seen that now the sum of p1 which is actually 10 and p2 it is 20 it has given us 30 so we have actually done the pointer arithmetics and we have we have pointed up uh, to uh, those particular addresses of x and y and assign them to z and uh, z basically was zero and now we have seen up uh, it is actually 30 so that actually makes up the end of this particular session until into our next session whereby we are going to talk about uh, the pointer increment and the pointer decrement uh, for now uh, however don't forget to subscribe uh, and into our next uh, videos so for now I say bye thank you Thank you.